Good day everyone. Today we have a quick video about the KT400 in standalone mode. Yes, now the KT400 is also available in standalone mode. What that mean? That mean any installation, one door, two door, three door, up to four door, we now have the option to choose either to install a dedicated computer, right, with the entry pass, managing the system, of course, with everything that offer, integration, video, alarm, you know, or we can also choose to go with just the KT400 connected to the network. What we'll need, we'll need to update the controller firmware to the latest firmware of the KT400. Then we'll have the option when we log in the web config of the controller, we'll have uh, the option to choose to go either standalone or connected to the Entropass. <laughs> right? Uh, we do have the same option available with the KT1 in a couple of months since it's been um, available. Now we also have that with the KT400. So you can choose if you have a one door installation, just install a KT1 updated to the latest firmware, connected to the network, and that's it. You can log in directly to the application embedded in the controller, go up to 1000 user, this controller will hold about 20,000 event. We do have another video more with more explanation about the subject. <laughs> right. Now, um, there is a question though. What type of KT400 can support this option? You will need a KT400 Revision 1. How to recognize that? Easy. If your controller has two network port, look like the one you're looking right now in my image. All you will need to do is to upgrade this, the firmware of this controller, and that's it. <laughs> yep. So, my friends, I hope this quick video will help you see more options, more ways to use your Kentech system. Thank you.